So former Lions offensive lineman Jeff Shorts comes out and blasts Bob Quinn for finding him for missing weight. He said Tom Coughlin do, didn't do it. Andy Reid didn't do it to him. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And, um, I mean, he should have been on weight. All right. Uh, TJ Lang and former Lion Travis Swanson uh, rebuttal to that. And he basically said that, you know, he was only one pound overweight and they still find him. But uh, Travis Swanson tapped in and said that, you know, you one thing he liked about Bob Quinn about, about Bob Quinn is you know exactly what he demands of you, what he expects from you. And he said they didn't find him over the one pound. They find him basically fulfilling to meet the expectations. So, I mean, I don't even remember Jeff Schwartz, you know what I'm saying, to be honest. But, uh, you know, should have just came in on weight. He said he was 341 pounds. He was supposed to be 340 pounds, and he got fined. But, you know, it's just another black eye for the organization. Um, you know, and the Lions just don't keep – they don't need this bad publicity. That's my whole thing about it. They just don't need the bad publicity, and they just keep coming and coming and coming. Oh, this team didn't do this, but the Lions do it. You're talking about a legendary coach in Andy Reid. Now he got his, his, his championship. You're talking about top dog coach in Tom Coughlin, who won, I think, two rings, and they not doing it. You know, why the fuck would I want to go to Detroit? Between them, it's three Super Bowls, I believe. Detroit don't have no Super Bowls. You want to know why people laugh at us? It's because we 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 that we that teacher that try to be strict, but then when it comes to testing the kids, the kids don't test up to par. You know, not saying we need to be lax or be loose, but we we too we've been too bad over the last twenty years to be a strict. You want to know why people don't want to come to Detroit? People don't want to come to Detroit because I'm a lose. And still not have fun. I'm going to lose and still be unhappy. I'm going to lose and it's still going to be strict. This is just a bad fit between Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. It just was. And I'm not trying to take Jeff Schwartz. Uh, I'm not trying to make excuses for him. He should have made the weight. You know what I'm saying? One pound, TJ Lang said, if I can't trust you to wear, uh, lose one pound, I can't trust you next to me. Well, TJ Lang, we couldn't trust you to play two or three games straight. But you was old and, you know, it was... It was, it was a desperation shot. We usually get dudes when they old, and you just forgot how to play when you got to Detroit. But i um, not holding that against you. You play that many years in the league, you know, eventually your body is going to wear down. But, you know, it's just these stories that you hear on a kid from Akeem Vallis to the Derry Slay story to keep going on and on and on and on and on again. It's just like, damn, when when is it going to stop? You know what I'm saying? When is it going to stop? You know, honestly, and can 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 you treat star players and veteran players like star veteran players? If you're not, it's just gonna keep traveling across the league, and people not gonna want to come play here. People would rather retire than play here, like Reggie Wayne, damn near. So they gotta change. They gotta find somebody that can run this organization. They got a new owner, technically, but they gotta find somebody that can run this organization. That's gonna that's gonna basically reestablish. Not just a winning attitude, but a comfortable culture people can be, you know, people can be comfortable with. You know, but he should have lost a pound. I'm not, I'm not giving Jeff Schwartz no pound, no pass. You didn't meet expectations, you got fined. You know, but then again, this is going another bad story for, for them. You know, the Lions just gotta do better. They gotta, they they need to legitimately. Get somebody that know what they're doing about running the franchise. If not, they need to send some people to another franchise that win and see how they treat their players. You know what I'm saying? That New England stuff is an anomaly. It works there and nowhere else. You have to teach. You got to get your stars their days off. You got to get them preferential treatment. Should no 15, 10, 8 year old veteran, or even a seven, a six year year veteran, be one of no gashers at the practice? Come on. Let's keep it real. They should be running no gassers after practice and run no damn hill. Especially if they establish and they do the job. But you know it is what it is, man. This dude, uh, he should have made the way. But, of course, we, we, we be so hard on these players here. But Matt Patricia to Bob Quinn, and they still don't get the best out of them. And then when you be hard and they don't really conform to what they want in this Patriot system, they get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? When in the Patriot way is, you know, we're going to trade you, get rid of you, but before it's time to pay you. And right now, Kenny Galloway on the clock. 
And if I'm Galloway, if I don't get my money before this season, nigga, I, I ain't resigning. Straight up and down. Trade me. You know, I'll play on franchise and franchise again, but hey, trade me. And that's just the fact that a matter of uh, it is. I'm not going to sit around here and, and like a guy like him, he get forgot about because the Lions don't win. He's one of the best eight receivers in the league. He's better than Amari Cooper. But he don't get his credit because he played here. And that's another issue about playing in Detroit. They have to establish some comfortable and some winning culture. And we'll see if Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia can do it. But if they if they resign you, they'll like you Tuesday, and they'll trade you by next Monday. That's what they did to Quadra. You know, and they and they just got a reputation. You know, it ain't even just about winning. It's about how they treat people. And they got a reputation for not treating Barry Sanders right and not treating Calvin Johnson right. What you expect? Why do you think people don't want to come and play in Detroit? Why do you think it was rumors that Tua didn't want to come here? You want to come somewhere that, you know, you're going to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have job security. Not with these bipolar general manager and bipolar uh, head coach. That's what they are. They bipolar. Oh, yeah, we like you one day. They're not, but petty. It's just pettiness at the pettiness at the pettiness. It's like you going into a job every day and you be and you just more and more stress every day. Every, even even before you when you before you go to sleep, you're like, man, I gotta go in this fucking place again. Don't nobody want to go to work feeling that way. People want to look forward to going to work or look forward to having an easy day. They don't want to feel. They don't want to wake up and feel like every day is just gonna be stressful. It's gonna be tense. That's take years off your life, and that's kind of like the work environment that the Lions are creating. People say, well, the Lions, you know, they're making millions and stuff. It's millionaires that kill each other all the time. They kill themselves all the time. It's a whole bunch of unhappy billionaires. It's a whole bunch of unhappy multi-millionaires, hundred million dollars, multi-billionaires. That's unhappy. Happiness ain't money. You know what I'm saying? It's a good down payment, but you know, dude should have made the weight. But he said it was his last year in his league in the league. Jeff Swartz. And are you surprised it was his last year in the league? And he he played for Andy and Tom Coughlin. He ended up in Detroit. Detroit just seemed to be a pit stop for for older veterans to come here. And basically jog to the finish line and get a last payday. And they got to change that as well, too. You know, but they won't get the top dog free agents until they start treating their players right. And word of mouth travel that the Lions treat players right. And they ain't over it. And they ain't, they ain't being they ain't no one bullshit like this. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the story. Shout out to One Pride Nation. He sent to me yesterday. I just didn't get around to chopping it up. Um, it's on 97 on the ticket. I put the screenshots up. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business question, cry response, shoot video request one time for the one time we don't.